Hey and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about function of the pancreas and actually what are these zymogens that people keep talking about. So the pancreas is divided into the head, body and the tail and the pancreas's functions include endocrine and exocrine function. The endocrine function includes the alpha and beta cells of the pancreas producing these hormones um, that are then released into the bloodstream. Now, do you remember what kind of hormones, what the job of hormones is in the bloodstream? Yes, to deliver a message to a distant area, distant organ, through the bloodstream so it's kind of like sending snail mail okay it's kind of like sending snail mail it goes through the bloodstream and then you have the exocrine function now remember here the alpha and beta cells are responsible for endocrine exocrine function are digestive enzymes these are enzymes that are necessary for digestion of these larger molecules that we consume in food and then we actually break them down using these enzymes such as amylase protease lipase now, what's special about these enzymes? They come packaged. These enzymes come packaged into, for example, a gift. So if you think about it like that, that means that these are packed, amylase, protease, lipase, initially. Okay, they come packed, which means that they are initially in the inactive form. We need to unwrap the present. We need to activate these enzymes so that they can then be useful. Okay, so what's a zymogen? A zymogen is an inactivated form of a, a particular en enzyme and for example trypsinogen is a zymogen and then it can be converted into trypsin okay and these zymogens are often stored in these zymogen granules okay um what is the point of them being stored like this well for a zymogen to then become activated it needs a protease okay proteases are what activate these zymogens and what is the point, you might ask, of these zymogens, these enzymes, to be stored in an inactive form anyway? That's because we don't want the pancreas to start autodigestion. We don't want the pancreas to start self-digesting, okay? So the fact that these um, enzymes are stored in like a gift form, they're not, um, they're, you know, they're packed, packed, a aka we need these proteases, we need these enzymes to actually activate these enzymes. So it prevents self-digestion, so auto-digestion as is known of the pancreas, which occurs in acute pancreatitis. Now, you can see um, actually the hepato, um, the pancreatico um, duct here actually um, goes into the sphincter, opens into the sphincter of odi, odi while the head of the pancreas lies in the C-shaped area of the duodenum. And from there, the enzymes go through the pancreatic duct, through the ampulla of beta or the sphincter of odi. And only once it reaches the duodenum, in the duodenum, here you they are activated. These enzymes are activated by other um, enzymes, okay? Trypsinogen to trypsin, for example. What kind of problems can arise when we have issues with these enzymes? Stay tuned for the next video where I will get into depth about acute and chronic pancreatitis, um, issues with even malabsorption, steatorrhea, everything in a simple, easy to understand way. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. Thank you. Until next time.